Good morning, Megan. Yeah, police tell us it was one man transported here to UK hospital after the attack. It's been about three hours since this fire started here on Martin Luther King, but crews are still on scene. They say they'll be here for several more hours. The impact of the flood that has left so many people homeless ranges from this obvious destruction all the way to people who still have their homes but just can't get inside. Now, most people are staying with family and friends, but there is another option for those who can't. Yeah, that's right. We have been worried sick since we heard the Breeders' Cup was coming to Lexington. Is traffic going to be a nightmare? Well, these volunteers have been working hard all morning long, unloading those three huge truckfuls of donations. They're going straight to the distribution center and immediately being turned over to flood victims. Just a heartbreaking story this morning as we're learning one person is dead, two others in the hospital after being seriously injured in this morning's fire. You can see behind me the damage done done to the apartment where those victims were living. Well, what an emotional day it's been for everyone in Kentucky, but especially those here in Richmond as Officer Daniel Ellis was brought back home today. Oh yes, things are just now getting very exciting here at Best Buy. There are literally hundreds of people that are lined up outside of the store. It wraps the entire way around the store back through the parking lot. I'm not joking when I say hundreds of people. They just opened the doors here about 60 seconds ago, letting these people in. We're getting our first look right now at the plane that came down here in this residential area of Junction City. We are along Simpson Lane, and as you can see, that plane is is pretty much crumbled in half. The amazing part of this story is that we're told the pilot after the crash actually walked out of that plane. Meteorologists say by looking at this fence line and seeing the debris stuck along the fence in a straight line back, that's how they determined what caused all this damage. Now, just looking at the damage to this barn behind me, you can tell just how strong these winds were. And it gets even worse as you go down the field and towards the edge of the property over there. You can see debris was flying. 